So let's go through a few examples. Here's that one on T-Mobile. This one was set up on uh, this week on the 1st. It was trading at 137.25. So this was buying the 18 August 137 put, selling the uh, 4 August 135. It got out of this too early, but some of the members stayed in. They got really a beautiful trade. So set the same thing up right here. Perfect, perfect entry right here. And see, this was a 50% retracement. This was the target 134. So set this up on, on the first right there. So that was Tuesday. Targeting down here, that was our target, okay? So here's what the trade setup was looking like. So went out, it says new T-Mobile trade, trade at 137.25, daily cycle high, retracement reversal off the 200, volatility squeeze of 513 cross, breaking a weekly support, 138.30. So here's the trade setup. So buy the 18 August, sell the 4 August, so the 137, 135, and uh, around $1.70. So this one, we ended up, uh, if you got into it, $1.67 or whatever, right around that level. And here's what it looked like. Again, let's just go, go through. This is a really good one, so you can see a good eyeball what it looked like. So here was just the setup. I put a lot of detail. So here's what we call a 513 cross, volatility squeeze, breaking a key support. So here was the trade setup when it was sent out. So this was going, you know, it's expired now, but this was buying the 18, August 137, and then buying the, uh, selling the 4 August 135, okay? So that was at $1.67. And so this went out, almost nailed it perfect, went out 134.60, so up 130 bucks. So right here, pretty close to nailing it perfect. So you can see where the spread went to. So this was... Uh, Set up at $1.67, $167 dollars per spread. It's going to give you a positive theta. And so on the fourth, it was trading almost very close to it, not quite, but close enough. So the spread went to, from 298, so it went from 167 to 298, so 131 dollars per spread, 78 percent return in four days. Now the flexibility side of it is if you had wanted to keep it for maybe a bigger move down. Uh, again, you see here, your long the 18 August is your long date at 137. So you still have plenty of time for the trade. So you could have been just, uh, you know, let the uh, short strike expire, keep the money there, and then keep the long dated. your long at the uh, 137 here for a bigger move down. So you still have plenty of time on the trade if you wanted to do it. And then we just, you know, so, so here, here's kind of the flexibility. So you're long this 18 August right here. You still have 13 days. So if you had wanted to stay with the trade, then you could have sold the, the next week's series, 11 August, further, you know, further out of the money put here, widen the spread, things like that. So just a lot of stuff you can do. So that was a pretty cool little trade. So that was T-Mobile.